course I can. You've turned me the big homosexual. High school is like a cash cannon. Imagine one of those, but no money comes out. So you're like at a strip club, but it just completely fails. Basically promised education, and most kids don't really learn anything. Although half the time that's the student's fault, but they don't want to say anything about that. The education system is pretty gay, but hey, you know what's also pretty gay? Couples. I don't mean to sound salty because I'm single, accepting applications of course. Best of respects if you could, I don't know, wait. I'd be walking in the hallway and see some couple kissing on each other, rubbing on each other and shit, like you are so public. There's a difference, man, but half the time they look like two magnets trying to connect them to each other. Or like two Minecraft squids just glitching into each other. It's such a pretty picture. Especially the broad ones that try to look cute but end up being, uh, <laughs> not. We don't want to see your 40 selfies on the gram either, Grace. Especially because I see most of this shit walking from second period, which is already terrible. Well, not anymore, as of now I finished that class because it was only for one quarter, but I had personal finance for second period, and in this class the teacher always seemed to target me for the most petty shit you could imagine. Absolute hoe. Always thought I was on my phone when I was ahead of the whole class. She would stand right next to me sometimes and just call me out for no fucking reason. Had a homie in that class though. I think dude was starting a rap group or something, they were like popping around the area. Eh, I don't know, but I might rap about this teacher in a song and she will never expect it. For real, it's those vibes where you're just chilling and the teacher calls you out mid-lesson or as an example because you did like one thing wrong in the past. You're a hoe ass bitch. Simple. There's only so many things you could rant about when it comes to school. School, you know, that thing a lot of us unfortunately go to. No more school bells, homework, and obnoxious students middle school experience last year. Now being a sophomore in high school, I have a couple of words for this mental fucking prisons. But I mean, we all know the system as a whole is flawed. If teachers paying more attention to tardies and hoodies than actual education wasn't enough, most people just get extreme anxiety and stress from it anyway. My school is luckily pretty easy in most parts, if only half the people weren't there. I got two years left, and thankfully most of my experiences have been pretty okay. Yeah. Okay, my tummy. I got cummies in my tummy. No, no, no. Wait, no, no. Are you gay? No. Are you gay? No. Are you gay? No. Are you gay? No. You gay? no. <laughs> Subscribe! Subscribe! When I was in seventh grade, I considered going into homeschooling. I even had the choice, I could have, but I decided to stay just for friends. Once again, fuck my middle school for making everyone scared when they entered high school. Like, this is genuinely the easiest shit ever, if only I didn't have to wake up so early, which I'm almost late every day. Most of the time I'm thinking about music I want to make or playing Mario Kart in class, I'm gonna be honest. So I mean, it's quite the breeze containing myself as a straight A student somehow. Alas, there's something we do learn throughout high school, and well, school in general. It's that one day, it'll be over. That sounds edgy, but it's, uh, it's true. I'm probably gonna make my senior quote some shit like, I am 95% swag, being here made me lose 5%. Shout out to my patrons once more, couldn't do this shit without y'all. Be spooky, bud. <laughs> I'm tired. Confused to where to go, but we keep going back. One of these days might just have a heart attack. Might just have a heart attack. One of these days might just have a heart attack. Might just have a heart attack. One of these days might just have a heart attack.